Well, traveling partner and I are on our way to Miami Valley. So uh, last night it was supposed to be freezing rain this morning. Now, not in Ohio, not Miami Valley, not maybe even in Windsor, but in Guelph, definitely Moffin Lane. There was a chance of freezing rain starting at 5 o'clock in the morning. So talked to Steve about it. I said, you know, he said, let's just leave at night. Rather than leave at five o'clock in the morning and get down here early after driving six and a half hours, let's drive, stop somewhere, Toledo, somewhere. What was the name of the town? Finley? We stopped Finley. in Finley. Um, stop somewhere along the way, get a hotel, get up, eat breakfast, take our time and get there. Great idea. That, it worked out perfect. Um, so that's what we're doing right now. It's 22 degrees Celsius. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's supposed to rain today. We might get lucky. It may not. Wouldn't that be awesome? Uh, so we're going to be, what, about an hour away? I think an hour away from, uh, from a, this might be Cincinnati. This is, this could be. Oh, that's no, Columbus. Bet you that's Columbus, yeah. So um, we're heading down to Cincinnati right now, heading down to Lebanon, actually, for Miami Valley. So last night, uh, over the last couple of days, I've been talking to a number of people. There was a horse of interest, a couple of horses, but one that caught my eye of interest on the uh, on game today his name was sailor he was a five-year-old chapter seven only at eighty-eight thousand and six wins six or eight wins eight wins eight wins and eighty-eight thousand a couple of them were in decent stake races too i think he won the tompkins gears i, I don't know if that's doesn't matter i think it's one of those like grand circuit kind of grand circuit races at two it is steve's looking up now i know how his brain works um like the arden for the medals, right? They go for 50, 60, 70,000, whatever. He won one, he won a division of that at two, uh, changed hands at three. At four, he was okay racing at Vernon. Uh, they stop with him in November, rest him, bring him back. First start, he was second and 56 in the medal ends, and then he wins his qualifier in 53 and one, or wins his first race in 50, 53 and one rather handily. Now he has a, a foot separation that's bothering him a little bit, but uh, I'm sure it won't be a problem to fix. I, I figured he'd bring 40, but a lot of people probably figured, figured he'd bring 40. So I was okay at 40,500, even 41. Um, we ended up paying $41,000 and getting sin. Now, when I fat, when I take a look at how much refi and those horses sold for that were tired this year, sold for last week on the uh, preferred sale, buying a fresh trotter that just won in 153 and won in a lifetime mark for 41,000 kind of made sense. You know, he has to be a mid-level condition horse. You're not getting him into the non-winners of five or four anymore. This is a non-winners of 9,000 he fits, though. So the, the deciding factor for me was Mohawk called. Uh, they were looking for Stonebridge Simba for that class. Now, he fits a little cheaper than that. He fits an hour of six. And I happen to have uh, I happen to have sailors' lines up in front of me when I'm talking on the phone. He's got 8,400 made in the last six. I said, I'll tell you what I'll do. If you can wait another half an hour, the sale end closes in 28 minutes. You can have Sailor. I think we can get him. I'm going to go to 40. I went to 41, which I don't generally do, but there was there was method to my madness, so to speak. I thought people, there, there's always people that say, I think I'll go to 30. I told John and a number of Steve, a number of people, I'd go to 40. But I think a couple of people could land on 40. Maybe it's all their magic numbers. I went to 41. That was my last bid. We got him. So this horse will be entered on Saturday. Yes, uh, he is. Uh, the people that have him, the Huck of Bones, were very up front. Said there was a foot separation left front. They have it fixed up now. Um, now, have to get papers drawn. Have to get the horse paid for. Have to get him shipped home for us to be able to race him. It wasn't a necessity to race him for Saturday. I thought it was fate. I told them I'd buy him and they could use the horse. So we did. Uh, Sailor is now ours. Five-year-old Chapter 7. Who was a winner in 153 and one uh, last week at the Meadowlands? He's ours now. He's coming home to uh, he's coming home to Ontario as soon as we can get him here, and he will be scheduled to race on Saturday night. Now, if the foot's a problem, if his blood isn't great on Friday, we may not be able to race him. But I told Woodbine they could use him. He's in to go on Saturday. Here is the sticker. Everybody that is interested, pay attention to what I'm about to tell you. We have to pay for him today. Today. So if you want to own shares in Sailor, uh, you have to forward the money right away. It would be $410 American, whatever the equivalent is. I will talk to Wendy 
right now about getting it done. I will also tell you, upwards of 75% of this horse is sold right now. So if you want in on Sailor, if you want in on some of the shares that are left of the 25%, you are eligible to do it. But it is first come, first serve. They are gonna sell out quickly, and I need it to right away because we have to pay for it. So that's the scoop on Sailor, just letting everybody know. I will talk to everybody very, very soon. I wanted to get this empty right away so you can sink your teeth into it. We just bought a five-year-old Chapter 7. We took a mark of 153 and 1 last week at the Meadowlands. His name is Sailor. He's on his way to Ontario. He's ours, and he will be entered to race Saturday at Mohawk. Take care.